coalition has accused the government of turning its back on offshore processing. The government now has the numbers to pass its legislation in the House and the opposition wants the parliament to be recalled for a vote on border protection. But the immigration minister isn't confident the amendments to the migration bill would get through the parliament. The government has started granting bridging visas to asylum seekers and the first will be released into the community this week. But now the government has an extra number in the House after installing the Liberals' Peter Slipper into the Speaker's role. The opposition is demanding the Prime Minister bring back her bill to resurrect offshore processing and her Malaysia solution. The government must recall Parliament for them to consider the Migration Act amendment and vote on it on Monday. At the Liberals' New South Wales Council AGM, Tony Abbott told the faithful the government was in effect outsourcing Australia's immigration policy to the people smugglers of Java. What we are now seeing from this government uh, is not offshore processing, it's not even onshore processing, it's a policy of immediate onshore release. That's what we've got. The government still favours offshore processing and while it might have the numbers to pass the migration amendments in the House, the Greens won't back it in the Senate. Yes, onshore processing is now the practical and legal reality. It's the only lawful thing to do with the, with the legislation as the High Court has interpreted it. The Greens have welcomed the news that the first bridging visas for asylum seekers arriving by boat have been issued. Even just this week that we've had uh, long-term detainees sewing their lips together, attempting suicide. Uh, there are many, many uh, hundreds of asylum seekers in detention uh, around the country are on antipsychotic medication, antidepressant medication. The government says 100 bridging visas will be granted every month. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.